Hey everybody, it's Atheist for the Cause, and John Podesta went on Fox Business, and <laughs> this good, a clip of clip of this has been going around, and I think it's a uh, pretty interesting because Podesta tried to uh, tr attack Donald Trump for the Russian narrative, and um, Fox Business tore into him a bit. It's pretty funny. Let's listen to this. Do you find it odd that there's been so much attention on the Trump campaign and the Trump associates and potential collusion with Russians when, in fact, it's really the Democrats who have deeper and stronger ties to Russia? I mean, John, I've got to ask you about your own uh, situation, your ties to Russian entities. You joined the board of a small energy company in 2011. Two months later, a Russian entity directly funded by the Kremlin invested $35 million in, in the company. You were given 75,000 shares in, in a Russian company, uh, which you failed to disclose when you became an Obama uh, uh, associate. Uh, Maria, that's not... Now, when you're trying to attack somebody else for their connections to Russia, it's just kind of funny. Not true. I, I fully. Disagree. That's not true. She just gave like ten different facts, but that's not true. Disclosed <laughs> and was completely compliant uh, with. Uh, and by the way, I divested before I went into the uh, White House. But where did you uh, divest that, that it, company. John? A lot of people feel I, like I, you I, divested it to your adult children. <laughs> oh, so you divested into your children, John. Oh, okay, hold on. Maybe that's not true. Let's listen to the next line. Divested it uh, consistent with my, the advice that I was given <laughs> uh, by the White House Counsel's Office. Uh, and what did they counsel you, John? Could they have counseled you to give it to your children so that, they could, that your children could then just give it right back to you? And I was com fully compliant and uh, and fully... Oh, yeah, the, these loopholes are, you know, completely legal and uh, compliant you know it's not even that she would be attacking podesta for this it's just that you know he's attacking trump and all these democrats are attacking trump and not just that they attacked trump for the russian narrative that they made such a big deal about it it's been going on for uh, over a year now it's this is getting ridiculous and it's there's nothing there and uh, she's showing that like you can do this with the Democrats to a far greater extent than you can Trump and the Republicans. Uh, transparent about what I had done, and so the you know the fact I that shouldn't say and the Republicans. You can do it with the Democrats far far greater than than Trump. I'm not sure about um, the other Republicans how, how close their ties could be connected to Russia. I'm sure a lot of our politicians can be connected to Russia. I mean, the when you look at connections you actually do have to be pretty careful because everybody's got connections all over these are rich famous people so uh, that that are financially powerful i mean of course they have connections all over the world and if you actually listen to what he's saying it's basically that russia had invested a small amount into a small clean energy company and um uh, you know, he was aboard of that clean energy company that wasn't actually in Russia. It was, um, so, you know, when you get started getting into these indirect, um, you know, um, connections, quote unquote, like, and they've tried to do the same thing with Trump. She's just showing you can't do this to Trump reasonably. And, um, and he's having it done to him now and he's just getting utterly destroyed that you're picking through my uh, emails that were stolen by the Russians and released by WikiLeaks. That's uh, because that's what you're doing to Trump. You're just cherry-picking anything you can, and actually, you're not even cherry-picking. You're making most of it up, so. You know, and uh, creating a story which is not true uh, is... You know, so something you weren't that we given 75,000 shares of stock in a Russian company? You were not given 75,000 shares? I didn't have any stock in any Russian company. So go back and get your facts straight, Maria. But That's if not you wanna, true, John. We know that you own 75,000 shares. You're on the board of Joe. It's not a Russian company. They own less than 5%. It's backed by own, the Kremlin. I didn't own any shares in that. He's actually right. Um, to my knowledge, it's, it's not actually like a Russian company. It's a... It's a company that um, had investments from Russia.
that company, Maria. When you Ma stepped off the board, you were given 75,000 shares from Joe no, Lee. That is not true. How many shares were you given, John? Maria, I didn't have any shares in any Russian company. I was on the board of an American company that did business here and only here. The Russian company had a small investment in that company. And I, you know, well, if we can go around and around the tree, that it's backed by the Kremlin. It's, why, it's been widely reported that that company has been backed by the Kremlin. Yeah, okay, backed by the Kremlin, but that America, it's an American company. So, I mean, she is exposing him and destroying him. Um, because the way he's attacked Trump has been so dishonest. But this is also, at the same time, shows why, you know, this type of attack is is a completely unfair. And she actually does get a fact or two wrong here. So most of what she's saying is accurate, though. And they gave you 75,000 shares that you had to disclose they didn't give when me you anything. went into the Obama administration. Maria, you can, keep, you can keep leveling this charge. It is not true. Okay. They didn't give me anything. Mm -hmm. The Russians didn't give you anything directly. They backed a company that you were a part of. And then when you stepped down from the company, you got 75,000 shares from that American company that did business in America that had investments from Russia. And that is your connection to Russia. Quit pretending like you don't know what she's talking about. We had a small investment in a company I was on the board of. It was a clean energy company uh, that was trying to deal with uh, the issue of trying to produce uh, energy, uh, liquid fuel, uh, from uh, a biotechnology process. It was based in Boston. And it, you know, the Russian company... Hmm, remember back uh, many years ago when Hillary Clinton was actually running against Obama, I'm pretty sure it was, when uh, Hillary Clinton was a huge supporter of biofuel. And, you know, the next great thing was biofuel. And everybody, we needed to switch over to biofuel. Well, I wonder why Hillary Clinton was so, you know, sad on biofuel. Maybe because the Democrats have all kinds of investments in it. He had a very small investment in it, and you could keep saying that mm. they gave me, they gave I'm me stock, but they didn't. I'm just following all the widely reported uh, information here, John. Well, There's also you're, Hillary Maria, Clinton, obviously. Maybe, maybe your report, maybe your. Uh, Wait for it. This is going to be great. Not only is his comment hilarious, her response is funny looking at widely reported uh, information from InfoWars. No, I'm not. Is <laughs> no, I, Paul Joseph Watson responded to this by saying, are we responsible for everything? <laughs> because they're not the ones who reported it. And it's just so funny how paranoid, I've talked about this before, the Democrats are getting extremely paranoid. Like uh, Cuomo, uh, Chris Cuomo on CNN had Ron, Senator Ron Johnson and they were Senator Rod Johnson was just giving facts and all of a sudden Chris Cuomo <laughs> freaks out about like a fake news narrative like being accused of fake news and stuff and Senator Ron Johnson wasn't saying that at all he's saying there's a lot of misinformation out in public that people don't understand about the health care bill and it was hilarious and now um, he's like Giving Infowars free advertisement here by by attacking them, people are, and now um and now she's going to respond by saying, actually, no, it wasn't Infowars. It's not, no, not true. This is and listen to the sources that are actually being reported. Remember, this is John Podesta, Hillary Clinton's campaign chair, a lead Democrat, you know, a, a DNC operative. Political. This is the New York Times. Political. New York Times. This is the Wall Street Journal. Wall Street Journal. Leftist. Completely leftist sources. Look at his reaction. Uh, like, oh God, she said the sources. <laughs> uh, no, it's that's not. what I'm looking at, John. No, it's no. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. Those weren't your sources. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it there. If you want, there. This is a 11 minute clip. It's kind of hilarious, but um, it it just shows how petty this is and how petty. Th it's not even about this confrontation with Podesta. It's about the fact that their attacks on Donald Trump of collusion of 
the investments they're trying to push you know like it, they've kind of moved on from it to a small extent but they kind of keep going back to it um from time to time about how trump has apparently had Ru um, russian investments and things like that none of that's ever been proven so um i hope you guys have a good day and enjoy the project veritas part three that came out today i did a video on that so check that out like share subscribe uh, i every every like every share it it makes my day to be honest so have a good day guys